Hi everybody, welcome to our talk for today, just continuing uh, some of the things and objects that I found around the vicarage and uh, today I've shown this, I found this and uh, I'd like to read to you a couple of verses from Psalm 8 from the Old Testament, Psalm 8 verses 3 and 4. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have set in place. What are humans that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. You may think, Robert, you've already done a globe of the world a few weeks ago, but this isn't a globe of the world. If you look very, very closely, this is a globe of the universe with all of the stars and all the constellations and all the different star patterns in our universe. And, uh, you know, this little, uh, this little globe reminds me that although the universe is such an infinitely huge, large place, yet God knows me and he knows you personally. He's the Lord. We used to sing a song in church years ago. Although he's the Lord of all glory, yet he's only a prayer away. Sometimes people think the universe is so big that we're not really all that important. But the Bible teaches us, Sam yet that I read a few moments ago, teaches us that although we do live in a big and a wonderful and a huge, huge universe, yet we are important and God remembers us. So let's remember that in the days that lie ahead, that we're known by God personally and that we're loved by God personally. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the truth of this, that although we live in a big, big universe and although we live in a huge world, yet you know us personally and we thank you for that love. And we may, may we love you in return and always want to do what pleases you and to serve you wherever you have us placed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Goodbye, everybody. And uh, God bless you.